Okay, so let's discuss about the types of capillaries in our body. Friends, we have three types of capillaries in our body. Now let me write each and we will uh, see in a sketch that we have brought uh, to show you. The first type of capillaries that we have in our body are continuous capillaries. Continuous capillaries. What is meant by continuous? As we know that capillaries, walls have endothelial cells, right? This is a very simple diagram just to uh, clear our concept. These are the endothelial cells of uh, this capillary. Now you can see here that there are no gaps in between these cells, right? That's why we call these as uh, continuous capillaries okay what about continuous capillaries that they have no transcellular junctions the first thing about them what are continuous those capillaries which have no transcellular junctions these are called continuous capillaries you can see in this diagram or I will show you in this sketch also we will see that what is meant by transcellular junctions and other things so let's see let's move further the next point the next important point about continuous capillaries is that these capillaries uh, are joined by non permeable uh, junctions right they have no permeability you can see here that all the endothelial cells are close to each other there are no special gap junctions in between them that's why we call them as continuous capillaries so what are next point is cells are joined in continuous capillaries cells are joined by continuous junctions right it means that there is no discontinuation in between them right there is no discontinuation in between the endothelial cells where can we find these capillaries what is the location of these capillaries in our body so these are very important capillaries and such capillaries are found in muscles and fat cells continuous capillaries are found in muscles and fat cells and we also have them in our nervous system nervous uh, tissue and in nervous tissue they make blood brain barrier B B B blood brain barrier so around our nervous system or around our nervous tissue there is a protective cover which is called blood brain barrier and this cover is formed by continuous capillaries right so this was the first type of capillary now look here in this sketch this is our continuous capillary you can see here these are the, this is the lumen of this capillary this is the lumen and these are the endothelial cells and above we have basement membrane and then we have some pericytes also we have uh, discussed in here in the structure of capillary look here this is one endothelial cell this is another endothelial cell this is another endothelial cell you can see here that these endothelial cells are very close to each other they are very fixed to each other there are no special gap junctions no transcellular junctions in between them that's why we call them as continuous capillaries let's move towards the second type of capillary that is fenestrated capillaries fenestrated capillaries those capillaries which have fenestrations those capillaries which have fenestrations which have transcellular perforations 
look here these are the perforations which lead to the exchange of substances from inside of the capillary to the outside of the capillary so they are more permeable capillaries you can see here these holes which are present here these holes are called perforations so such capillaries are called perforated capillaries now look at the difference between both of them you can see these capillaries that i have in my left hand they are continuous capillaries and these are perforated or fenestrated capillaries look at the difference between both of them right okay let's know about fenestrated capillaries that they have intracellular uh, perforations those capillaries which have intracellular perforations are called fenestrated capillaries these perforations are called fenestri perforations are called fenestri that's why we call them as fenestrated capillaries okay they are as we can see they have more fenestries so whenever there is flow of substances in between them there are the chances of uh, diffusion of substances from them more so that's why we say that they are more permeable capillaries they are more permeable capillaries as compared to continuous capillaries they are more permeable what is their location at which part of our body we can find these capillaries so their location is where there are more exchange of substances so the first thing that we have uh, are endocrine glands endocrine glands these capillaries are present in endocrine glands these capillaries are also present in intestines in our intestines and these capillaries are also present in glomeruli or shortly we can say that they are present in kidneys in glomeruli or glomerulus in uh, kidneys so these capillaries fenestrated capillaries are present in glands and in intestines and in glomeruli now look at the difference between their locations also okay the third type of capillary that we have with us or the discontinuous capillaries or sinusoidal capillaries we also call them sinusoidal capillaries so what are discontinuous capillaries the third one discontinuous capillaries how can we define discontinuous capillaries as that these capillaries have open spaces in between the endothelial cells you can see here these white spaces are the spaces in between the endothelial cells so there will be easy exchange of substances or flow of substances from capillaries towards the surrounding tissues so these capillaries you can see this is one endothelial cell this is other endothelial cell this is other in between them they have these white spaces so these are the intracellular uh, spaces what are continu discontinuous capillaries these capillaries have open spaces in between the endothelium they have open spaces in between endothelium or endothelial cells right okay we can we can say that they are also more permeable they are more permeable these capillaries have the, the most important thing is to remember their structure and their location so these capillaries are present such capillaries are, are present in liver what is their location they are present in liver we call them they are as sinusoidal capillaries they are present in spleen and they are present in bone marrow 
okay this is about the location of discontinuous capillaries so they are also called as sinusoidal capillaries capillaries okay so these were the three types of capillaries now let me show you all of the three so that you could easily distinguish between them okay look at the difference between them the the one uh, near to me is the continuous capillary and the one in the middle is the fenestrated capillary and the one far from me is the discontinuous or sinusoidal capillaries so these are the three types of capillaries as you can see this is discontinuous capillary or sinusoidal capillary what is and the difference between all the three you can see clearly that uh, discontinuous capillaries have wide wide spaces wide in between the endothelial cells and the uh, fenestrated capillaries have fenestry or perforations here so that there is more exchange of substances in between the tissue and capillary and this is the continuous capillary they have no fenestries they have no gaps in between the uh, endothelial cells so friends this was about the uh, structure of capillary and this was about the types of capillaries okay this was about uh, we have covered uh, the the type of blood vessels the structure of them the difference between them and the smallest are, uh, blood vessels there there these are the capillaries now inshallah in the next lecture i will try to uh, uh, to uh, record lecture on the different arteries of the body and on the different veins of the body we will start from uh, upper parts of the body and we will move towards the lower lower parts of the body and we will cover each artery and each vein of the body be with us and please subscribe our channel thank you so much